Now we all know how crazy AI designs can get, but how can we use AI to create practical redesigns of websites that we know and love every day? In this video, we're gonna redesign youtube.com, the homepage using Midjourney AI. Let's get into it. So what I've done here is I've used Midjourney Bot and Midjourney uses images from all over the world and compiles them into AI using prompts that you write out. So here I wrote out a minimalist redesign of youtube.com homepage, okay? So it gave us four different options and these are all quite basic, not very defined designs, but from that you can then choose an image, which I chose the bottom left one here. I think that's the most practical out of the ones that, that it's given us. This one looks more like Netflix or something. This one looks like the player. This one also looks like the player. So I, I picked the bottom one here. I think that's, that's the best way to go. And so I've upscaled it so we can see what it would actually look like. Now, this is what that image looks like right here. But what I've done is I think that we can improve on this. So I've taken this image and I've asked it to make some variations for me. And so from that, we went on to some more variations. I asked it to upscale one of those and we are now left with this one. But I do think that the best one was the first design here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, plug it directly into Figma, just like this. And we're going to take this design and redesign it using Figma components, using the actual logos, using text, using actual components that we can use to see what this design could look like if we used the inspiration one-on-one. -on -one. Here we go. So I'm going to start out just by masking out the design that we don't need to see just like the background here. I'm gonna upscale this, something like that. Okay, I'm gonna move the mic out of the way here. So what I wanna do is I wanna use real components from the YouTube homepage, and this is just a default account. So I wanna use components like the tags here, like the videos that they wanna to show to us, things like that. And I also wanna showcase some of the tags on the left side here. So we've got the left side, the top tags, the design of the components themselves of the players, and also maybe subscriptions, the search, something like that. So let's see what we can do here. So I have the logo here and we can start just by using the background color here. Now I'm gonna to try to use all of the hex codes that they've given me in terms of typography, background, maybe this image, something like that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to be as true to the AI as, as possible here. So we've got the background here and I think the sidebar is pretty pretty well, well, well defined in terms of what it should be. The right side though, I'm not sure why we would need two different sidebars that is for us to decide. Then we've got like a typical marketing site nav bar here where we've got some left side links and then right side links as well. This can be maybe our sign in, sign up, login, that kind of thing. And you'll notice that it's also in dark mode. So that was the liberty of the AI to give us that. But I think we can roll with it. We can use dark mode. Um, it's gonna look a little bit closer to something like Netflix, but I think that's totally fine. Okay, so let's get started with, with this here. I think this can be our logo. So I'm just gonna plug that in here and I'm not gonna use auto layout in this video or I might, but just in terms of, of speed building here, we can use the regular frames and stuff. Okay, so this can be our, our components here. So we can just do the basic stuff like home, shorts, things like that. I don't think that we need to change that up too much, but for this, maybe we can do something like 18 and I'm just gonna use enter for this because I think it's probably the easiest that we can do all of this in, probably make that a bit smaller. And we can again use the exact hex codes that they've given us okay so we actually want the background to be okay so now we've got the home and we can start yeah honestly just duplicating some of this so we can see what this could look like so we've got some of the home components here so i think what we need to do to really get this off the road is make some blocks right block this out so what we need to do in the first place is going to be we have this top frame here i want to combine it with the logo and within that i want to create a new frame and this is going to act as our sidebar and also the top bar so the sidebar here there we go okay so the logo just in terms of proportions looks a bit large but i'm going to try to do this as fast as human possible so that we can actually speed through this but let's see okay so we've got the sidebar at a pretty decent decent level let's do the top then so i don't i'm not sure what this red part would be maybe something like live or maybe it's the user account something like that but i'm gonna skip that part because i don't think that we necessarily need it i'm gonna duplicate this and put it to the side these as well it can be hugged see so a lot of people sometimes ask me um do you actually use auto layout for speed and for like in what case would you actually use it and i think that that's a pretty good example where i can use auto layout to formulate this design in a pretty fast way that i wouldn't necessarily be able to do that with just frames okay so i'm gonna turn this into auto layout itself but the side can be fixed so 1440 okay and this can be absolute so obviously instead of home we can just use the the term link to say that we've got something going on there, but I'm not exactly sure what link we would have. Okay, for this, we can fill up this entire container. We can group these, or they're already grouped, duplicate them and make it so that they're evenly spaced out. So then here, we can maybe have sign up, log in, 
and that's it. We don't really need the other. Okay, so that kind of deals the, the top and the side part. I'm gonna ignore the right side here because I don't think that makes any sense. But apart from that, we can maybe... Yeah, this is kind of bugging me here. Let's go ahead and make it a bit smaller. Something like that. Okay, we're getting we're getting pretty close to what it should look like. It looks a bit off in terms of the colors here. Okay, that looks a bit closer. So I think we need to go for the header first and then maybe this part here. So that part can act as our tags. So our tags up here. Okay, so let's go for the tags first. I'm gonna use the links here. Okay, let's see what we're working with here. I'm gonna create it outside. Okay, and so our fill can just be white. Okay, so we can have extra links here. So the links can be all thing like live music, gaming. Okay, so from there, absolute again. Okay, and the fonts themselves should be a little bit larger, like 16. But for some reason, I'm not sure why the tags would be up here and what this profile picture would be considering. So maybe that's like a product or a, a profile section, but I'm gonna go ahead and say that it's not <laughs> just for the sake of the, of the design that we've got going. But in the case that it would be, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure what we would even add here or why the AI would think that there's anything in here anyways. But yeah, one thing to note from this is is that you know in no way should any of this design be considered as as great ux or what we should look for in regards to good design this is just almost like an experiment you know okay so let's go ahead and take this position it a little bit better something like that i'm gonna use a placeholder for now just for this image and again with the absolute just because it's kind of a quick pace thing here move that up okay for the absolute I'm just gonna have a placeholder there for now. I'll, I'll see if we can even use the image that they gave us. Okay, so looking at it now, I quite like this tags section here. Maybe we can even add a search, but I don't have the an, an icon in front of me right now, so we'll do that last. But let's do let's move on to this bottom part here because I think that we might be cutting it close on time here. But okay, so I think this can be like a live thing going on right now. Like, what are we watching today? You know, and YouTube wants to promote something, so maybe we can work with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a little section here. So this can be be a creator that they're talking about, right? Maybe like, um, I'm just gonna do creator name here, use white, make this a bit bigger. I'm not trying to squint here, okay? So there's something red here in terms of the text. Maybe that can be tags, something like get the red from here. See, I'm using auto layout again as a natural thing, just because this would be harder to do without it. But okay, so this can be something like live. Creator name can be maybe the tag itself, you know, like music, but it needs to be white. And I'm using enter and shift enter to jump back and forth in between the layers here, just so you guys know how, how I'm doing that. Okay, so we've got big title, live category, and then this can be a description of the event that's going on. So we can do this. And I'm just gonna use a plugin here called Lorem Ipsum to fill up the, the space. And it's gonna auto-generate in terms of the, the space that I have here. And we can use 16. Okay, so now I'm gonna put all this into an auto layout. I'm gonna give it spacing, some padding, maybe like 10. 10, 10, and this can be 12. Okay. And so then we can do almost like a black, but then use the opacity of like 20%, maybe a bit more. Just comparing two here. Okay, so I think that gets us pretty close to where we need to be in terms of this this design here. Creator name, it feels it feels a bit lazy. Okay, let's uh, do, I'm just gonna do man here. I don't know, Ross, see what, what YouTube wants to do for me here. Okay, 16, add a bit more padding on both sides because it looks a, bit, looks a bit close. And here we can probably get rid of this last line here. Okay, something like that. For this image, let me try to find something on Unsplash. And this is using a, a plugin as well, but let's see if we can find maybe like YouTube or, okay, this is a musician. Let's go with musician. You know, they're honestly pretty good. Here, let's go for this one. A nice live acoustic design. You know, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, and we can do a little bit more color here. Okay, it's cutting it close. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the the bottom side here. So also these these links, the fact that they don't really mean anything is kind of bothering me. So maybe we do that. I'm not sure. Okay, so what I want to do here, I think this could be a cool area to, to show live music or live concerts or something, or just live events like gaming or something like that. And then here we can maybe have subscriber content. So content that you've that you subscribed to, like my videos, for example. And we could see content that, that you want to see up, up next or something like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and do that. So I'm just going to use quick frame here. And again, using auto layout makes this easier. You can rename this to content dollar sign NN. So we can name these depending on the frame that we're on. So this can be content. Okay, so here we can go ahead and click all of them. Use unsplash. I'm just going to do a insert random so we can see, I mean, it would be nice to have music. I feel like that would work, but yeah, this is fine. It's totally good. Okay, go in here, add some radius or radii. And then for here, this looks like a live button, but I'm gonna use the logo itself, something like 
the logo. Okay, paste that in. And I think the thing that we want to do here is going to be make it look like YouTube could actually use this. You know, if they wanted to just contact me and say, hey, you know, let's do that. Let's use it. But I mean, I don't think that they would use this live logo, for example. <laughs> okay, what we can do, grab this, put it inside, create an opposite stroke. And I'm, I'm working kind of fast here, but yeah, something like that. Close enough. Okay, you're not going to see it when it's tiny. That just doesn't look good, does it? This kind of looks like the Target logo. Yeah, icon design in Figma, not the greatest. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of that. We can just go with that for now. Honestly, this can just be like a red dot. And we can say something like live. Combine the two. This should be white if it's going to be in a black background. Okay, now we can combine the two. So the two auto layouts. Combine those two. Make sure that it's like a decent size apart, like 24. And then we can put that in here. And again, I'm just going to use auto or the absolute for now so we can kind of play around with it and we can move it into its own frame and layer and make sure that everything looks good but for now i think just in terms of time okay i'm gonna make this a bit bigger in terms of hierarchy it should be a little bit more important okay that's totally fine for now i mean it's you know it's close enough okay let's go ahead and do something else here okay we've got live and maybe this can be which one's the dark one okay so this can be happening right now something like that maybe this would need to be 30 times as large add some more spacing and these two can be probably a bit smaller yeah i mean <laughs> that says the same thing pretty much but if we make this a bit smaller maybe put this under okay that makes kind of sense let's see if we can reduce the size a little bit okay so now we've got the live section we got our header and it seems like we're missing these two so i think that should be our subscriber part okay so let's go ahead and do that and I'm gonna create a component with this. Go ahead and add a frame in here, center to the left to the middle, okay? And then this can be name. Now this is just a very simple card, but I'm gonna use x-ray mode here so I can see what I'm doing. Because it's white on white, I can't really see. This can be name, and this can be uh, maybe what the video's about, right? Like the title. So the best redesign in the world, something like that. And this can be the Jonas Brothers. Okay, so now I've got this frame and we can start actually designing the frame so it can make sense and these two can be white okay so now we've got the content itself so this needs to be here let me go ahead and change the master first okay so then this is now okay that makes more sense that's now auto layout so if we want to go ahead and start duplicating these okay i need to select all of these go into plugin unsplash and i'm just gonna insert a random one again so that we can see the the content that we're looking at we can probably make this a bit smaller like 16 okay so the jonas brothers is now my most subscribed to content that's why they're they're my front page that's why you guys are seeing them right now let me go ahead and move this here let's do that absolute again and we can use this same text here subscribed we can delete this your subscriptions okay so we've got live your subscriptions. Honestly, I feel like I can make these two auto layout so that I can control the size of both of them. Okay, I'm gonna press enter and I'm just gonna use the K and this probably isn't what you should be doing in terms of scaling. You should make sure that everything is the right size, but I think that fits a little bit better in terms of this styling here and the font because we use the components. We can now go ahead and use something like 15 just to scale it down. The, the bottom text the top can be like 18. Go ahead and uh, clip that content. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and move this a little bit further so we can make these a bit bigger so that the content is going to get pushed. Okay, so we've got these two pieces of content. All we need to do now is this last card here. And in terms of timing, what we can do in, in like 10 seconds, I think it should be something that YouTube wants to put out themselves, right? It should be something that, that YouTube wants to promote. So maybe it's YouTube premium or it's an ad by YouTube or featured something like that. So maybe we can do like a featured new artist. So I'm going to create a card here. It's going to be white. White. I'm gonna add 16 padding or 16 radius, my bad. Okay, text can be featured creator. Bump this up. Okay, I'm gonna use quick lorem ipsum generator. Auto generate, reduce this to a secondary, something like that. Okay, so now this looks like it's an X, right? It looks like it's a card of some sort. So what we can do is a plus sign for all of those who don't know this trick. Quick way to do an X here. It's just using the plus sign and then go into help, outline, stroke, and now you have an X sign. So we can do that. Okay, so now we've got this featured section. Let's go ahead and make an image. Go into plugins again, unsplash, insert a random one. That's totally fine. Okay, so there seems to be some some sort of content on the right side here. I'm not. I don't know what that would be. Maybe it's um it's multiple cards placed together. You know, it could be a thing. So I'm gonna get rid of this X for now, and then the frame itself can be white so that we can add padding 
it's gonna make sure that it's affecting the, the frame itself, right? Okay, we can go ahead and create a frame out of this, or a component. And I'm just gonna plug it in here, use this bad boy again. And so maybe we can do something like this, but these two can be their own frames. And so then we can reduce this, clip the content, and then the X, we'll go ahead and create that X again. Outline stroke, go ahead and turn that 45 degrees. Okay, so this here can maybe go, you know, something like that and go ahead and put it into a frame. And so the X itself can be maybe a little bit white. And so the fill can now act as a kind of X. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of a weird layout right there. But I mean, in terms of what the AI has given us, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that X, it doesn't really make sense to me. But instead, what we could do, just to kind of finish this off really quick, is we could go ahead and create a quick arrow. Now I'm just gonna draw this for the time's sake here. But if we could do something like that, you know? Yeah, it's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, I'm gonna extend this, but if we had to clip it, that's what that would look like. So this is the my take and what the AI has given me here. Let's go ahead and do a quick review because yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on here. So we've got on the left side, we've got the typical tags. So this can be home, short, subscriptions. And if we wanted to, we can go ahead and populate that. Shorts, we can do subs. Yeah, this should be centered and the text themselves also centered. Okay, yeah, so you, you can kind of imagine that. I get that. The issue is, I don't know what this would be, what these links on the top would be. Maybe it's new, yeah, maybe it's this, like YouTube premium, maybe, music, premium, music, you know, but I don't think that this kind of makes sense too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. I'm gonna put, instead of space between, it's just gonna be packed and this can go on the right side. Okay, and then, yeah. That makes more sense. So now what I'm gonna do is gonna move this into absolute again. Okay, so that makes a little bit more sense to me. We're kind of creating this kind of arc, right? And what we could do in this case is add the search up here, like YouTube currently has it, but now we're getting, I mean, now we're just creating YouTube again, but we've got some of the tags on top, like live gaming, music, things like that. An extra link here if we wanted to add anything else. <laughs> we've got kind of like a, like a call out, you know, we're saying, hey, look at this, look at this featured creator. Look at this live thing that's going on right now. For now, it's music. Could be anything. Uh, we've got actual live content. So this can be gaming. This can be, you know, people eating, home redesigns, you know, anything you can set your mind to really. Down here, we've got featured creators. That's my take on what this could be. I have no idea what else it could be. Maybe just a, an ad even. I know YouTube does a lot of ads, so it could be that. Then we've got featured or subscribed creators here. For now, we've got the Jonas Brothers, but it could be anything else that your heart desires for example, PewDiePie, if you wanted to. But for now, I think that that kind of makes sense. Uh, we're missing that. I'm not too sure what that could be. Maybe it's a like button or watch later, or something like that maybe. But for now, I think, I mean, it, it's, a, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty close take on what the AI has given us. If we take a look at the left side, we've got, you know, an illustration of a musician. It looks like someone doing music, someone being, you know, rockster. And on the right side, it's more of an acoustic version. But yeah, I think overall it looks good other than this nav situation going on here. I'm not sure what, what the AI has given us there. But other than that, I think it looks pretty decent, you know? So if you guys enjoyed this kind of video, and if you guys have any suggestions on how we can improve this design or how AI can help us create better designs in the future, do let me know down below because I think you know, if we take take it with a grain of salt, help us design a little bit better, then it can really be a powerful tool for inspiration as we've seen here. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.